European Union leaders got back to work Friday morning, showing little sign of the previous night's rigors. By the time she appeared before the cameras, Chancellor Angela Merkel had practically held two summits in one day, after hours of talks with the Greek Prime Minister. Today, the Greek government has committed to taking full responsibility for recommending reforms. These must conform to the framework of existing agreements, and very quickly in the coming days, so that the process of evaluation can begin as well. Talk of reforms is nothing new. But this time, the Greeks are said to have pledged far more specific measures to submit to the Eurogroup. Sources say Alexis Tsipras made the pledge at a special meeting with creditors, of which Germany and France are among the biggest. We haven't lost too much time, but it's been allowed to pass. But the extent to which Athens feels itself bound to agreements made by previous governments remains an open question. Greece will recommend its own structural reforms, which will also be implemented. And all sides confirm their readiness to work towards quickly supplying the Greek economy with liquidity. The suspense remains, just as in the summit's second big topic, the Ukraine crisis. The EU agreed to extend trade and investment restrictions on Russia due to expire in late July, and a condition was added. Our common intention is also very, very clear. Uh, we have to maintain our sanctions until Minsk agreement is fully implemented. It now seems the EU sanctions will remain in place till at least the year's end. The bloc is still speaking with one voice on Ukraine.